Burns show got a 15 year old girl pregnant. Yes, I'm being 100% serious. This is not me tripping over my words. This is not me mumbling or getting any information incorrect. Burns show got a 15 year old girl pregnant. And before we jump into this entire thing, and trust me, it gets worse from here on out. I need to say this because of YouTube and the way they run their system. TOS. Do not target, do not harass, do not witch hunt, do not weaponize, don't do anything, do not go after any individual that is discussed inside this video. This is purely out of YouTube's TOS. And trust me, I know how you feel. I've kept my eye on this guy for about a week and a half. I've been researching and I've been looking into his shit because I've been doing my due diligence, okay, to find out what this guy's truly about. I know how you feel. I feel the same exact way. The feeling is mutual. But, because the way YouTube runs their website, we have to understand, cannot harass individuals. You need to put that out there because YouTube requires me to say such a thing. YouTube requires me to say such a thing. So with that being said, I speak Spanish and I've been watching this guy for about a week and a half and that's very pertinent because a lot of other people have made videos about him, especially as of recent, but there have been other Spanish YouTubers who've been making videos about him for months and months. And because the new guys who are making videos about him don't speak Spanish, they're not looking deep enough and they can't translate everything. I can. So there's no more running here, Burn Show. Uh, yeah, the jig is up. So with that shit being said, we're going to go into who is Burn Show. Well, Burn Show was a YouTuber in which he reacted to Daisy's Destruction, did a live reaction with a stream. What is Daisy's Destruction? Well, there was a guy named Peter Scully who was inside the Philippines. Now, when he went there, because he got pretty much kicked out of Australia because he was racking up a whole bunch of debt because he was like running property scams, he's in Philippines, he gets two girlfriends. These two girlfriends decide to get a whole bunch of kids, two kids and a baby, and they start doing incredibly disgusting things to these kids and a baby. They record it, sell it online for thousands of dollars, right, on the dark web and the deep web or whatever. And once they do that, that is what's known as Daisy's Destruction because that's what they titled these videos and they came in parts. Burn Show got his hands on this shit via a subscriber and reacted to it, reacted to footage of a grown man and women doing disgusting, deplorable acts to children. Okay, that's what he did. That's what got him into hot water. And that's not all that he did. He is more disgusting and vile. He is more than what meets the eye, okay? He is a fucking transformer and it gets grosser and grosser the more you dig. It's it's so gross. Think about it. It's so gross. People were playing devil's advocate. Yeah, go look into every YouTuber's comment section that has made a video about him. They'll say, yeah, I don't believe it. Because it's so disgusting. He is so brazen. If you don't know what brazen means, it means you're bold and your chest is out. You don't care what people have to say. He's so bold and brazen about his disgusting acts. People thought it was fake. But I'm here with irrefutable evidence to show that it is not. As a matter of fact, this guy has not made one, not two, but about three videos about Daisy's destruction in which he was either talking about it or watching it. And in these videos, he shows himself that he does in fact have files named after the shit and he deletes it and he's like, you see, uh, I was doing this for informative purposes. I was doing this for information and to let you guys know what's going on. In the words of Dana White, that's fucking illegal. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't make any difference. It's still illegal as shit. And you're disgusting for live reacting to it. And then at the end of it, he would like, he would cry. It, it, it was such bullshit. And I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to get into this, right? So he has proven that he did, in fact, have it on his hard drive. He's made multiple videos about it. Not only did he make multiple videos about it, he's actually made 12. 12. 12. 10 plus 2. YouTube shorts about the shit. That's about like 15 videos in total now. And now other people were like, how come YouTube isn't on top of them? How come YouTube hasn't deleted them? They have! He just keeps coming back like a fucking cold sore. They deleted his other channel. That's why his new channel is called Soy Burn Show. His other channel was just called Burn Show. And YouTube deleted that shit. Came right back with another channel. They deleted and taken down his videos. As you can see, like his um YouTube shorts. There's like, it starts, it says part 12, but there's only like four or five parts there. So it goes to show YouTube took out half of them. YouTube deletes his videos, he just reposts them. YouTube deletes his channels, he just makes another one. This guy just keeps coming back. That's what this is. So again, this guy is in a different world. I want to keep on going about this. Not only does he get his shit deleted and, you know, his old channel's been deleted. 
He goes on and he says, this is his justification for what he's doing. His subscribers asked him to do it. Mm-hmm. 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 That is his justification for it because his subscribers asked him to do it. So <laughs> why not? He, he's even came out and said he will no longer react to this type of content. Which, let's go upon that, there have been allegations of him trading child material inside of his Discord and other users doing such a thing. He then came out against those YouTubers and he said no one's trading it and people were showing hundreds of screenshots of people asking for a CP, which stands for child, mm, you know what I'm saying, P word. But then he said, no, nah, that's not what it stands for. It stands for COD points. COD points. As in Call of Duty points. You know, like the virtual currency. COD points. So when he was going out and saying, hey, join my WhatsApp, you'll get 20 videos of COD points? How, how does that make sense? That doesn't make any sense. As a matter of fact, ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Because I know exactly what it means because I speak Spanish. Unfortunate for you, I do. So, translating this from Spanish to English, it pretty much just says he'll no longer be reacting to child material. That's what that says verbatim. That's not a rough translation. That's what it says verbatim. So, if you're going to sit here and fucking lie your ass off and be like, no, it stands for COD points, you'll no longer be reacting to COD points. You give out gigabytes and megabytes of COD points. You have a WhatsApp, and if people join it, they get videos of COD points? You're f Oh, my God. YouTube. Okay. So, with that being said, that is that part. Here's another part of some other stuff he's doing. He's been on Instagram playing with a pocket pussy. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, right? He's also posted these same videos on Facebook. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, right? He's posted very, very incredibly lewd photos of himself on Instagram. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, right? He's posted very, very lewd photos of his girlfriend. There's nothing wrong with that. But now I have a real big issue with this. Why the fuck have you used pictures of babies to censor certain things? Why is that? Like, it's not like he's using, like, Sometimes you use a picture of like Spongebob licking a glass, but sometimes it'll be like something very sexual going on or something nasty going on. And you use a picture of a baby, a fucking baby that he probably got off of Google Images or maybe even it's his niece or his nephew or some shit. And you use that to block out what's happening, which is just fucking weird. And then to top it off, he reacts to Skibbity Toilet. Now, why is that important? It's important because Skibbity Toilet is very, very child oriented. Children across the entire globe watch that shit. It is a global phenomenon. So on the same exact YouTube channel, where he's watching gore, where he's watching Daisy's destruction and he's reacting to it, he sits down and he reacts to Skibbity Toilet, which is conducive of attracting a child audience. Okay? So when you link your Instagram and all that other shit, where it has your fucking dick and balls damn near hanging out and you playing with a pocket pussy, guess what that does? You are fucking sick. You are sick. And this is not even the worst of it, okay? We got worse shit, okay? Before we get on to the next thing, you want to hear something this guy said? He said he watched Daisy's Destruction. This is what this guy said verbatim. Translated from Spanish to English. He said he does it to expose pedos. <gasps> Takes one to know one, buddy. Are you kidding me? That's your that's one of your excuses? That you watch grown men put their hands on kids because that somehow exposes them? What oh it brings the offenders to light. What which one? The, the offender that's serving 130 years in prison right now? You brought him to light? The ones already been riding in prison for years? Or did you just want to watch that shit? You just want to punch a ticket to YouTube stardom by being a disgusting cockroach. That's what it is. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. And guys, 
Do not get this confused. His videos are not covered with millions and millions of likes and he has some audience of crazy demented people. No. His videos get dislike bombed out the motherfucking wazoo. Okay? Out the wazoo. And his videos, there's, there's literally comment section where guys are like, oh my god, I used to watch your old content. What's wrong with you? Why are you uploading this? So even his own audience is turning against him. No one finds this shit productive in the slightest. And his, his, like, his fucking excuses for it get worse and worse. And the more he talks, just, it's more like, just to shut the fuck up. It's one of those to just shut up. Now, remember how he says he exposes predators? He got a 15-year-old girl pregnant. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So the guy who exposes predators got a 15-year-old girl pregnant. And now you may be like, Cole Raven, where'd you get that information from? Did you hear it like down the grapevine? You saw some messages. Did somebody online tell you that? And you just believed it and you just took it on a whim? I wish that was the case. How did I get this information? Because he said it. He said it himself. It came out the fucking caballo's mouth. Out the horse's mouth. He came out and literally stated in this video right here. Which if you don't speak Spanish... I think you can throw on subtitles so you can kind of get an idea of what he's saying. But he sits down and literally states he got a 15-year-old girl pregnant while he was like 19 years old. And that he has a child with this girl. And when other YouTubers were calling him a pedo, you know what his response was? <sighs> he has many responses. But his response to this specific allegation is that he's not a pedo. No, no way. He's what is known as, this is what he said. This is not what I'm saying. This is what he said. He's a, a, a febophile, a, a febophiliac, which means that he's attracted to girls that are like 15 and 16 and that he's not. Dude, if you gotta make a distinction on what age you like your girls, you're sick. You're a sick, sick man. If you gotta sit down and cherry pick what age you like your girls, not women, you're a predator. It does not matter what age you like your girls, because they are girls, and you are a predator. Okay? The second you hit 18, it's 18 plus, and that's it. That's how that works. But if you're gonna sit here and say, yeah, I'm not I'm a fibio for whatever that bullshit word is. It doesn't even matter. Let's throw that word out. We don't need that word in the dictionary. We're grouping you all together because you're all disgusting. That was his excuse. Oh, here's the beautiful part. If you make videos on him, you know what he does? He goes into your comment section and he tries to taunt you. He tries to taunt and he's like, he says shit like this. Oh, thanks for the new viewers. Thanks for the new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That That's your way of like taunting. That's a very, very weak taunt. Really? New viewers, new subscribers. Your channel's down to crapshoot already. All we're trying to do is bring it more to YouTube's attention. Again, so they can get rid of your channel for like the third or fourth time. That's all we want out of this. So again, oh, another thing. Hold on. <laughs> Take that shit with your son on eBay for like $5.99. He also likes to do this. He also likes to put on like a little blue hat and pretend that he has Down syndrome. I'm dead serious. He's done this on multiple streams. Where he'll sit down, put on a blue hat, and go like, uh, uh, and like mock the people who are calling him out. Which again, when it comes to like pretending to have Down syndrome, he doesn't put in much effort because he's already 95% the way there. Uh, but when it comes down to it, that's what he also does. So he'll taunt you in your comment section. He'll pretend he has Down syndrome and mock what you say. Despite the fact he has openly said in videos he's gotten a little girl's pregnant. You've gotten a teenage girl pregnant, dude. You've sat down and you watched child material. You've allegedly traded it. Okay. You then try to hide behind card points, call the duty points. Oh, anybody's buying that shit. And the only reason why this guy's not stuck in a cell fucking rotting is because he's not in the U.S., I'm dead serious. That's how that works. So, again, that, that's literally his little scapegoat. 
But, again, YouTube, you're already on YouTube's monitor before. And they got rid of your ass. I'm no fortune teller, but I could imagine that could happen again very, very soon. What you're doing is illegal. What you're doing is disgusting. What you have done is illegal. What you have done is disgusting. And the point of this video was not just to shine light on the fact that he reacted to daisies. Because I, I don't feel like people need to come out and say that solely. As in, like, he had one big disgusting mistake, right? I don't want you leaving the video thinking, oh, he made one big disgusting mistake. I want you to know this guy has a rap sheet of being disgusting. A rap sheet of doing such a thing. From start to finish. A rap sheet. That's burn show for you. Ay, ay, ay. It's a thing. I, I've never thought I'd ever make another exposed video on a YouTuber. But that... Was a cookie too sweet to pass up? It really was. It was one of those things where when I saw YouTube was talking about him and I knew I had all this information and no one else was bringing it up, I was like, okay, someone has to say something. Because all the other guys, again, they don't speak Spanish, which is fine. You don't have to speak my language. You don't have to speak his language. That is completely fine. But what happens is when you don't speak the language of the opposition, you miss out on the disgusting acts that they do. And I'm glad I can bring it to light. So with that being said, that's the end of the video. Like, favorite, share, most point, don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'm your boy, Cold Raven. Welcome to the slaughterhouse, and there ain't no leaving.